If you had a recent pet emergency, then you know how hard it can be to get your pet in to see the vet. Well, pet ERs are jammed, likely a result of a rise in pet adoptions during the pandemic. So what do you do? NBC4's Gordon Takamatsu went in search of some answers. Luna the Golden Doodle is healing nicely today, but getting her to this point was not easy, says Alex Young. In fact, <laughs> it was downright horrible. And in pain? In pain, yeah, and, and really needing help. Friday night, a mobile groomer accidentally punctured Luna's belly with sharp shears. Details of the deep gash too gruesome to show you on TV. So I put her in the car and we went to my usual emergency vet. But when she got there, things didn't look good. There were huge lines. I mean, crowds of people outside. They told me a six hour wait to even be seen. Alex spent three hours driving Luna around the valley. One emergency clinic after another, same thing. No room, six hour wait, come back tomorrow. Finally, half an hour away in Granada Hills, a vet who was about to close took Luna in. I was kind of on the verge of tears when I asked like, do you have time to see me tonight? A cleaning, some stitches, and a couple of thousand dollars later, here she is today. But Alex wonders, what if she'd never found him? Turns out this is not just a problem for Luna and her family. Veterinary offices throughout the region say the lines are now much longer than they were before. We've had what we call a pandemic pet boom. Dr. Julio Lopez of Encino Veterinary Center says many more of us acquired pets last year. At the same time, COVID outbreaks left shortages of vets and their staffs. Many practices have stopped taking in new clients. If your dog or cat has an urgent care issue like Luna, chances are she'll have to get in line behind many others. Lopez says pet owners should know things are going to be this way for a while. Keep as calm as possible and understand that the veterinarians are doing their best. Because for now, there are many more pets, but not nearly enough vets. In Encino, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.